Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we did some stars. I can't even remember. We did stuff. This time, we're gonna talk to this toad. Here's a letter from Princess Peach. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. P.S. I hope this gift will come in handy from Peach. Princess Peach included five one-up mushrooms in her letter. Would you like them now? Oh, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. How did she manage to send five one-ups to Mario from Bowser's captivity? Not only that, how did she manage to send anything? And where did she get the one-ups from? Let's take a look at the map, because I'm not sure if we have anything left in the dome now. Um, so we got one star and a... Okay, so we have a few stars to do in the fountain. I guess that's what we're doing this episode then. Finishing off the fountain. So let's... Let's -a go! And we still haven't unlocked the Hungry Luma for this place either. Here we are. So... I don't really want to start off with a comet right away, so let's go back to the Battle Rock Galaxy. So I think I'll do one or two comets every episode. And we'll do Top Maniac and the Top Man Tribe. Top Man Tribe. Very creative names, just Top Man, Top Man. And top man, yeah. Yes. Wonder what those guys are called. Hey, look, it's these guys. And that's how you do it. Maybe I'm not ready. What's this do? And oh, the star bits. I forgot what those mole things are called. Okay. On oh, that was close. Onwards. Through this very scary minefield. I missed. Oh no, so scary. We did it guys. We did nothing. Let's see what this star has to say. The power lines are keeping my friend locked inside. Hit them with this. Hit them with something to cut off the power. Okay. Whoop, no, let me try that again. I missed the power lines. Yeah. Okay. I don't think Mario. Like hitting it with Mario doesn't work. Uh, star bits maybe. No. Okay, then. Those are in the worst position, by the way. Kill yourself. This enemy doesn't even hurt you. Unless you jump. That delay was really weird. Thank you, oh sweet freedom. I'll make a shortcut. Transform! Yeah, you're still in the place where the laser field was. Um, you should probably move. In case it reactivates for some reason. There we go. But you don't need a coin. Coins are useless. And down the pipe. See, I'd say this is breaking into Battle Rock, not the last one we did. I just went right through that block. Let's go forward. I could totally be cheap and just like, do that, except not quite. You can pretty much skip this whole room just by doing a triple jump or something and going up there. It's actually pretty funny. It's like, come on. Unless you're bad at platforming. Sorry, no. Unless you're... It's like, oh, you're good at platforming? Oh, well, see, look at this. I'll do it here. 
I think. This flame doesn't get me. It's like, you get this fun, you get knocked down. Never mind. Let's wait a bit. Let's wait a bit. I I'll be able to do it. When that's not there. Because you get momentum too. It's like, come on. Maybe make it a bit harder. So if you want, you can just skip that whole room. I mean, good game design, guys. Wrong way. Seriously, this looks like breaking into the Battle Rock more than breaking into the Battle Rock does. Also, I'm not seeing many top men. Top men? Unless this guy's one. I never actually thought about it. It's even got a cutscene. We are a spy infiltrating a secret base. Let's just call this one Breaking into the Battle Rock Part 2. It's like the same Bond movie, but nothing like it. Open the airlock! Yeah, even the coin goes flying. And then random explosions. Seriously, how does that even work? No, this, this planet looks a lot, what, yeah, a lot like one on things. Just getting some star bits. There's a boss fight up there, but I want to show off one thing first. You would have seen it. Here we go. I love this guy. Luma Lee, Luma Bob, welcome to the Luma Shop. I can tell you something helpful for only 30 star bits. Oh, why not? That is not much. Which will it be? A 1-up or a life mushroom? I'm pretty sure we already have a life mushroom, but what happens if you collect one when you already have one? Ooh, so full! Now I'm feeling great. So here I go, transform! It's... nothing. I could have sworn you get a 1-up. Oh, well that sucks. There you go, never get a life mushroom when you already have a life mushroom. All you have to do is jump on this guy and then spin. It's like the opposite of all the other guys. Because like, you can't jump on them but you can spin them. But then it's the other way around for this guy. And he drops a whole lot of star bits. This guy's really annoying. There we go. Also, he does nothing. I love how he can move into the electricity fine, but I have to, when I hit him towards it. Oh, that'll make him explode. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got a star! Here we go. Breaking into the Battle Rock Part 2. I'm going to ignore that title that's up there. There we go. You discovered a new galaxy. There we go. That's another one for the kitchen. But we're going to do the space junk now. And then if any comments come up, comments come up, I'm just going to skip them. Maybe. I might go back. Taron Tox's Tangled Web. I really hope they don't do alliteration later on. So we've already done the first part of this level. Maybe I should... Actually no. Yeah. We've already done the first part of this level. It's the one with the Hungry Luma and the Yoshi face. So I'm just gonna skip ahead. And by skip ahead I'm practically there already so no I won't. See, there's the star ready. We're right back where we left off. Roughly. Now, there's the hole. Down here. And if you want to get your way through, just follow these planks. Seriously, like, they take you. It's the best way to go. See? Right to the star. Blasting through some 
crystals or glass or whatever again. Mario, how are you not dead? Or having something sticking out of you. And the gruesome music comes in again. Gruesome? That's dark. Dark music yet again. Help! I'm stuck! Aim your thing at me to pull me out! Now there's actually something fun I like to do here. Because I can do it on this one. If I aim it right, he'll just get stuck in that one. The thing I hate about this is that if you go to the screen a bit too far, it just sticks there. It's really annoying. What do you have to say for yourself, Toad? Help, I'm stuck. Uh, you can just go into space. Goodbye. Wait. Did I actually just kill the toad? Um. Um. I think I just killed the toad. Usually gravity pulls it, him back to one of the planets, but he actually just died. Well. So long for that, little guy. Mario's even killing toads. He had the chance to redeem himself, but he failed. I hope you guys don't hate spiders. Because there's a lot of them. That was weird. Die! Here we go. Into this... Fairy... Hole? This looks wrong. There we go. Guess it wasn't fair. You can destroy these. Oh look, another toad. Let's kill him. You're useless. What do you have to say for yourself? Eek! Mario, what is this thing? Well, wait. Apparently you can grab coins from that. Let's launch into it. Boss fight! This must be Taran Tox. All you have to do is get gravity to work for you. Come on. Come on. Destroy the little bits on the side of him. Well, it'll stun him. You have to get the... No. Let me try that again. Stop! Moving. And now you hit the big one. There we go. That was harder than it needed to be. And then you just smashed all of these through oblivion. And there we go. No, no. And again. No, come on. Quick! No! There we go! Oh, now he's angry! And apparently that hit me. I think that's a really good speedrunning tactic, actually. Getting hit twice? Maybe not. Come on! No! Do something! This is why I think it's better to keep those stone slabs here, because you can actually grab onto the things in one jump. Easily. He's already shaking to get up. I don't think I'm actually able to miss this one. Come on. Here we go. And that's it. We have defeated the spider king? Queen? The spider. Just it. We have defeated it, and now we have to, all we have to do is hit this first try. First try, got the star first try after my horrible failures of missing all the time earlier. And with that, I think we should have the Hungry Luma outside. That's what I've been waiting for the whole time. 
Oh, a new chapter. There it is. Hungry Loon. No one cares about the storybook, though. Seriously. That thing's horrible. I'm gonna have that in its own separate video that no one has to watch. Because it's horrible. Yeah, you. Yeah, no. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm famished. I need 400. Uh, I've got more than that. Dude. There you go. 400. Easy as... Starbits. Okay. Piece of cake. Probably shouldn't say that about Rosalina. She seems to have something out for Peach. Here we go into Sling Pod Galaxy. I hate this one. There are two things about this galaxy. A very sticky situation. I love this galaxy for one reason. Okay, for two good reasons and one really bad reason. Okay, so the two good reasons is that this is where you farm for lives and this is where you farm for star bits. Seriously, if you need star bits, just come to this galaxy. Unless, unless you need star bits to get this galaxy. I don't know what to do then. And boom. But you have to be so accurate and it's so easy to just miss something. And the camera angles don't help. Look at that! We already have two ones. Come on. Come on. Boom. And that's checkpoint, I believe. But look at this. Look at all of these star bits. Straight into the beginning of the level and all the star bits are like this. And another one up. And even getting hit or dying doesn't matter. I'm going to do that one again, because I messed up. And... Boom! Seriously, there are star bits everywhere. And you know the best bit? Just you wait for the bit. Oh no! I think spinning there saved my life. I'm not going to bother going for that one up. One, I don't need it. Two, I'll probably die. There we go. So I got three lives and 160 star bits. Then I died. I was going to die on purpose. But just that, that just happened to be good timing. When you come back though, you die again immediately. Hopefully not. But all the star bits. All of them. Just respawn. And you can get them all over again. And it's like seriously. If you want to farm star bits, come here. It's the best place. But enough of that. I'm not gonna s sit here farming star bits and just spend the rest of the video doing that. I'm gonna move on. Hopefully, make this one. Oh, this one's really hard for me. Yes! And please don't hit me. I swear those flames can hit my hair. I've missed this one. It is the worst feeling. Seriously, when I missed that one. I hated myself. Tried it again, countless times, and I still couldn't do it, so I just quit. Didn't play the game for like, a few months. But with that, there's only a couple of things left in the fountain. Galaxy complete. And we almost got it back all 400 star bits, I think it was. The only two things left in the fountain are two comets. None of which are available, so why don't we explore the kitchen? Finally! I know you guys have been waiting to just move on. I promise I won't do that again. Seeing new galaxies for that long. And look at that, we already discovered the enemy base. Here we go. So we have quite a few galaxies we can do here. Still can't do this one, even with two stars more than Bowser. But we can go to the beach bowl, or this place, the... Rubble Breeze Galaxy. Or the Ghostly Galaxy, or... Bowser's Angry Place, Bowser Jr's Airship Armada. So Maybe not Bowser then. 
I just realized those galaxies have shadows. I don't think that is how space works. So which one shall we do, guys? I'm thinking we just do a short one to finish off the... So let's do the Bubble Roots galaxy. Finish off this galaxy straight away. It's a nice short level. Here we go, through the Poison Swamp. And it's actually going to introduce a new mechanic. Just like the Terrace did with the Ray Surfing. Just like the Fountain did with that horrible, horrible ball thing. That was horrible. And in this one, our glorious starship, the starship, it crashed. That lasted long, didn't it? I knew the toads would do this. This is a poisonous swamp. If you fall in there, you're done for. This is all your fault, I missed. No, you don't deserve to be happy. Come on, I'm gonna hit you with this tree. Come on. What? He's invincible! Guys, I'd be more worried about Captain Toad. Woo! The wind sure is strong here, hey? Don't you think it'd be awesome if you could ride that wind? Hmm, I wonder what he's getting at. Well, what do these two have to say after someone crashed their ship? I don't want to fall in. Ow! I think I broke my bubble bone. That's... Okay, I don't know the anatomy of toads, but... What on earth is that meant to mean? Wow. I legit just skipped that tutorial. There's a tutorial there, and I skipped it. I don't know if you're forced into doing it, actually. But pretty much... Oh, I missed the thing. I could do a ground pound to get out of this, but I won't. It's pretty much... Your pointer becomes a... Fan? It looks like a trumpet. But... It becomes a fan thing. Now I swear this is the only level where collecting coins does something. You know why? Well, one, I'm actually gonna do it because you don't collect star bits like this. But there's actually at least 50 coins. You can actually get a one up. You probably can in, like, so many other levels. Also, I hate these if. Oh no. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna shoot a star bit at it, but I can't. Do I even have star bits? I do. Oh no. This game's clever. Those things are annoying. They just pop your bubble, and it's not fun. No one likes getting that bubble pop. I mean, this is another place you can farm star bits too. Oh no. I fell in a swamp and died. But when I look back up, the star bits is have returned. Then in the hole. In the tree stump. There we go. Also, this level, be very careful. Because you can easily get your bubble pop when you're not even doing anything. I could like push into Exactly. That's what I mean. It just popped. It pops on corners that don't even do anything. You don't get crushed or anything. Also, can I just point out this? This is absolutely amazing. That, that wasn't it. Let me try that again. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. There's this awesome speedrunning tactic. Wait, I need to be moving for this. No, that's not gonna work. I'll just try another backflip. No, that didn't work out. I know I can do this. I really want to show this off. Please, I'm begging you, just let me do this one thing. No, come on, I've done it before. What am I doing so wrong now? I mean, I'm pretty sure I do it like this. Maybe I don't. I'm wasting all of my lives. Maybe I do it on the rocks back here? Ah, there we go. I'm, I'm on the grass, guys. I'm on the grass. 
No, maybe that isn't how you do it. Basically, you can go out of bounds by going on the rocks and, like, instantly get that star that's right there. Instead of doing this whole area. Also, I'm pretty sure dying resets the coin count. Yeah, totally does. So I don't want to be touching this death trap. Like, this bit here is the only safe bit. Seriously, I hate this tree. I'm not even going to get that question mark. I'll get this one, though. No, I said I'll get this one. Thank you. And all the coins, not the mine, though. Here we go. I think this is the checkpoint halfway through. And ground pound. Ooh. That was nice. Go, go, go. Did it. I mean, that was so hard. Get the coin, get the coin. No coin left behind. Oh, look, more coins. I said no coin left behind. There we go. See? One up. It's like the only one up you'll ever get with coins. Or... Mm, mm, the, the, you saw the one up there. I'm done. Ah, oh, checkpoint. Thank goodness. Let's do this. Let's do this. Forget that detour that can also get you killed. I'm taking the safe route. Taking the safe route. Making it. I'm going down here. I'm not gonna bother killing myself doing that. Oh no! Thank goodness we're not over the swamp. We did it! We finally did it! So much for a nice, short, easy star. Come on. That was meant to be an easy one. Anyway, that's it for this episode, I think. So, next time, we will explore the galaxies in the kitchen. I will not save my game. But we will ex explore the rest of the galaxies here in the kitchen. At, but first, I think we'll try out this new comet here, Daredevil Comet. Oh boy, that one's gonna be fun. See you guys next time, this is Spiraling Helix, signing out.